I feel nervous. Okay, Kara, stop primping. <laughs> So we are here today with the ever giggly Kara Henry and Laura Tingle. These two uh, lovely ladies from Newton Running are preparing for the 2013 Leadville 100. And uh, this is going to be the first episode of a wonderful, wonderful web series called And Then I Fell Down. So first up, Kara, tell us about yourself. Hi, Brandon. Hi. Um, my name is Kara Henry. I work here at Newton. Um, and yeah, this will be my second year running the Leadville 100. So this year I'm actually training and somehow Laura has been convinced to sign up for the race as well. And so we're training together and spending excessive amounts of time in the mountains alone together. Doing jogging. Oh, doing, lots doing of jogging. jogging. Yeah. So why is it called And Then I Fell Down though? Um, well, I thank you for asking that, Brandon. No, no problem. <laughs> because... <laughs> Please elaborate. I tend to fall down a lot. Mm, um, you do, do you? It happens in races and in training. Tingle falls down a lot. I fell down on Saturday. How'd that go? Well, I was in going the race. Over, yeah, I was going over a bridge that was a solid one inch high. And I got my toe, and then I fell down. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought it'd be appropriate. Yeah. I like We're it. We're gonna interview our, each other for the first the first one, so you yeah. can get to know us a little bit more. Okay, so kick it off. Okay. Laura Tingle. I'm ready. You used to be a triathlete. Yes. Why did you decide to become a real athlete? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, triathletes are pretty legit, but um, I sort of retired because after 20 plus years of swimming twice a day every day, I think I, I met my lifetime quota of being wet. When was the last time you fell down? What time is it? <laughs> I've been really... No, been, no, 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 I've been, When we ran on Friday, you fell down. No, I didn't! When we were on the Dakota Ridge Trail, and I turned around and you were laying on the ground, and you were like, <laughs> I wish you'd seen that. Did I really? <laughs> Maybe I just don't even realize it anymore. Well, Are you a cowboy or a pirate? I'm a pirate. Which reminds me of my favorite pirate joke. <laughs> so, a uh, pirate walks into a bar with his steering wheel on his... I can't tell this joke actually. <laughs> Scratch that. I'm a pirate. Okay. <laughs> what worries you most about running the Leadville 100? It's multiple choice. A, falling down. B, getting lost. C, losing to me. Oh. <laughs> or D, other. Um, probably other. I just want to not die. <laughs> just cake, mom. I'm not <laughs> really going to die. Um, what? This is a multiple choice as well. Okay. What is your favorite thing about training with me? Um, my consistent pairing of short shorts and compression socks. Uh, that was A. B, my good looks and amazing personality. Or C, all of the above. I'll go with C, um, all the above. And I like how your short shorts, long socks combo goes in any temperature. It does. Like when we run and it's 10 degrees, you wear that. And when we run and it's like 65, same outfit. On our long run yesterday, I told you I lost the will to live, go get the car. <laughs> Why didn't you get the car? <laughs> I don't deal with whining. Kara issues weakness. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just looked at you and shook my head. What's the most amount of mileage you've run without washing your hair? I was running about 60 miles a week then, so I've probably run 180 miles without washing my hair. That's really gross. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, the first episode of and then I fell down. Thanks. We're right. looking forward to more updates. I do expect pictures of blood and um, many falls. So please take your phone with you. Just put like a tank box around it or something so you don't break it. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you.